Darren, when we look back at Tuesday evening's game, obviously frustrating for it to be abandoned, but just want to get your thoughts on that first half performance, because after that early goal for Harrogate, we seemed to have made quite a few chances and we were certainly level by the time the game obviously was abandoned at half-time. Yeah, I mean, obviously not the, not the ideal start to a game. Um, touched on um, in, in meetings today, you know, where we can be better at the start and how we could have done better to prevent that goal. There was three or four players that uh, unfortunately played a role in, in them getting the space and time to, to take an early lead. You know, but, you know, I don't want to dwell on it too much. At the end of the day, we've, we've, we've had our conversations of late about starting games quicker. Um, and obviously we, we didn't start particularly well on Tuesday, but then the longer the game went on, you know, we got better and better and we looked a real threat, could have had two or three goals. Um, and I just, I, I, what I like the most about what we tried to do the other night, a couple of things really, I, I think in a, on a really poor pitch, we tried to continue to do the things that I, I want to see us do. We tried to pass the ball. Some of our play and some of our patterns were, were, were still, we were being brave and trying to do it. Once or twice it got stuck in the mud a little bit, but you know we were trying to do the right things. Um, the goal in particular is was very pleasing because it's something that, you know, the patterns that sort of led to the crossing opportunity that, that got us the goal was, was very pleasing. And obviously Maka doing what he does, you know, he's he's brilliant at pulling off the back of people and getting in between people and getting his head on things. He's um, And that gives us that different dimension that I've been looking for. But the other thing that pleased me the most is having conceded like in the first 45, 50 seconds, whatever it was, we, we, it, we didn't let it affect us. And there was a nice calmness and composure about us that allowed us to feed our way back into the game and if the game had continued I was in a confident position that we was going to go on and win it. I assume now the plan is you take all those good aspects of that first half performance into tomorrow's game against Chorley. Yeah I mean it's 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 just been a really frustrating time for everyone I can I can sense it because <clears throat> and ultimately I sense it from the boys that you know they want to play you know they 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 can, they can feel that there's something happening, and they wanna they wanna get out on the grass and make it happen. And and I like that attitude, the the way they've been conducting themselves in training, and the way our conversations are going is there's an air of confidence that I'm pleased about. Um, so we go into a very difficult game. I don't, you know, I don't, not getting caught up with positions in leagues and what have you. It's. I know from when they came and played here and uh, earlier on in the season, it was a very difficult game. And I anticipate another difficult game, but you know we've 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 planned for it and we're prepared. And what we need to do is apply ourselves to our our fullest, and and that will give us a chance of winning. Yeah, many people will say on paper you're playing the team at the bottom, but obviously they'll be scrapping for points as much as we want the points. So it is going to be a, a really difficult game tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, and. Uh, the the only the only time that we'll know more about the game will be at the end of it. You know, at the minute our preparation is a team fighting for points against a team that are fighting for points. That's how we've looked at it. So um, we need to, like I say, my my aim and our target is to impose what we do on them, and if we do that to the best of our ability, we give ourselves a chance of winning. Their home supporters will be obviously right up for the game, knowing that they obviously need the points. So, is it important that we start fast and almost quiet in the home crowd from the off? It's important that we start the game quick and organised and confidently. You know, whether we manage to keep their fans quiet or not, I, you know, I, I can't say. But that won't be our focal point. It will be about starting in a confident manner that we can take on in the game because we know and the, the evidence in, in our season and, and certainly in our statistics show that we get stronger as the game goes on. So it's important that we start the game right for, for our reasons rather than what we're trying to do to Chorley's fans. Uh, the boys are obviously full, in, uh, full of confidence and they had that different dimension with uh, Paul being up front on Tuesday night. 
how important is it going to be for the whole squad to be right involved in these next few weeks because there's plenty of games to be played? And you know the most one of the pleasing things that's happened over the last couple of weeks. I've get a, I've got a lot of people knocking on my door, wanting to play, asking like, "How am I going to get in the team?" And you know, "Why am I playing?" And so, so that's all. That's a that's a plus for me. I've got I've got eleven that are chomping at the bit to get out there, and I've got the six, seven behind them that are desperate to play as well. So that bodes well, and I'm going to need them all. We're going to need all of them, um, with the volume of games we've potentially got. Um, everyone's going to play their part, and and when I when I say everyone, you know, I can make that even larger. Kind of, I can involve the fans in that. You know, everyone's got a role to play to help us really push on for these last fifteen games. I and mean, it's been quite frustrating time as you've picked up on for the fans, for you guys, for everyone associated with the club, not being able to get games on and things being disrupted. Just how important is it the fans stick with us and how great their support has been over the last few weeks. It has been great, and and I felt I felt really pleased and positive that after the Solly old game, a lot of what I read and what I heard was very constructive and very positive about. Although the result wasn't what any of us wanted, there was a real positivity about it, and you know, people know that that's what I'm about. I I, I want the best for the team and the club, and I got that. I got a real sense that the the fans were right behind the cause after the Solly old game. So, you know, them they've always got a part to play for me. They're always fans are so important and I, I've I always appreciate their support. And I thank them in advance for making the effort to come up to Chorley and get behind the boys. Uh we will do our utmost to give you uh an enjoyable weekend and an, an enjoyable performance and result. And you're gonna be crucial each and every one of you going forward to to play your part in helping us be successful. So, um, you know, coming out the other night, horrible night, horrible pitch, horrible weather, getting behind the boys. Listen, I'm truly grateful, always have been, always will be. And I look forward to seeing you all at Chorley tomorrow.